Welcome to the Giants Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Giants franchise where we go over the top prospects throughout the organization from AA Richmond up to AAA Sacramento. Last time we went over the number one prospect in the organization, catcher Joey Bart down in AA, and we're going to be staying here in Richmond to go over newly acquired prospect, left-handed pitcher Jay Groom. Like I said, Jay Groom is a left-handed pitcher. He is 20 years old from Barnegat, New Jersey. He stands six foot six inches tall. He weighs 220 pounds. He was drafted 12th overall in 2016 by the Boston Red Sox. He was going into that draft rated as the number one draft prospect. He was able to bump his draft status to be that because after pitching his freshman and sophomore years in Barnegat, New Jersey, he transferred to IMG Academy for his junior season, then transferred back to Barnegat for his senior season. And then when he did go to IMG Academy, he ended up committing to Vanderbilt. And then before the draft, he changed his commitment to Chipola College, a JUCO in Florida. But of course, he opted to sign with the Boston Red Sox as the 12th overall pick. And since signing with the Red Sox after that 2016 draft, he has spent the majority of his pro career battling injuries. He has not really had that much time to really develop throughout the minor leagues. And in May of 2018, he ended up getting Tommy John surgery, so he missed the bulk of the 2018 season. So let's take a look at Jay Groom's ratings. First of all, he is a lefty who throws gas. He sits around 96, 97 with his four seamer, and he does throw two variations of the fastball. He has the four seamer, which of course is the fastest pitch he has. And then he also has a bit of a moving fastball in a running fastball, which is usually a couple miles per hour slower at like 94, 95. His curveball is probably his best pitch. It can be an absolutely filthy pitch at times. Heading into that 2016 draft, he was actually ranked as having the best curveball in that draft class. And then his third pitch being the changeup isn't exactly the greatest pitch. It's an okay pitch, but he definitely needs to, to develop that third consistent pitch to be a reliable starter at the next level. He also needs to find a way to cut down on the walks. That is something he has struggled with throughout his pro career. He has had a difficult time finding the strike zone consistently. And it is reflected in his ratings as he only has a 42 walks per nine rating. But despite the inability to throw strikes so far throughout his pro career, and despite him being injured quite a bit, he still does have the potential to be a front end of the rotation starting pitcher. And that is the hope for him in our organization. He's currently a 64 overall. He's an A potential. MLB.com says his ETA is 2021. I would agree with that because I would say that the rest of 2019 he'll spend in AA. I'd probably say he starts 2020 next season in AA as well. And then if he has like a good month or two, I'll call him up to AAA. And then maybe in September call-ups, he'll end up in the big leagues. I doubt it, though. I would probably say 2021 is when you fully see Jay Groom in San Francisco. The Boston Red Sox had him in Class A, so he has not had any time at all at the AA level. But that is where he's pitching for us. So let's see what he is when we get to the update video for the minor league update video at the end of the season. But all in all, Jay Groom is a guy we are hoping is going to be at the front end of our rotation along with D-Rod in a couple years to come. Hopefully some of our other prospects develop as well. We have quite a few pitching prospects now, especially after the deadline. So it's definitely set up to where we have a pretty young rotation for the next few years. And with that being said, that is going to wrap things up here for this edition of the San Francisco Giants franchise, the prospect profile of left-handed pitcher Jay Groom. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I am saying, Kevin Abstract Peach is the song of the summer, and listen to the new Rico Nasty.